And after scheduling of the work orders, we could now uh, the next stage would be to uh, would be to physically pick the stock and actually and actually assign it now to our particular work order. So so we've performed the allocation, but we can now we can now go and do what's called production tracking to actually tell the system how much we how how much of stock we we've, we've actually consumed. Production tracking can happen at at any stage of the work order. And here I've got three examples of where I might issue stock at the beginning, middle, and at the end of the of, of the work order. In this case, I'm going to call, I'm going to say that I've done some completed tracking. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to tell the system how much I've actually consumed. And now we're in a separate production tracking screen that allows us to define the quantities we've actually we've actually um, sort of consumed at, at, and, the, and the actual time that we've spent. You can see that we're split into a number of different areas. There's an operations section which allows us to track our time, time and and other resources that we that we've uh, spent on on the work order, and then the manufacturing and components allow us to track our completed quantities and then the components consumed. If I look at the operations section here, which is the first section I can see here, we have our three operations. And we have our total actual quantity in this case of five minutes that we've assigned. So we have assigned through the bomb and routings that each operation takes about a minute to do. And so we've now uh, told the system that actually five minutes have been consumed. But I could actually say in this case, this first operation actually took me 10 minutes instead of five. Uh, I can actually confirm the amount of rejected quantity as well. So if I, if I actually further down, if I now go to my manufacturing and components section, I can confirm the actual number of units achieved. In this case, it's actually confirmed that having spent 10 minutes, I actually produced uh, uh, sort of 10 units, although although I could have left the quantity as five. And then going further down, it's actually again confirming the number of quantities that the, the quantity actually tracked. And so in this case, it's confirming the actual quantities consumed. So again, in this case, it's actually multiplied my my units here by 10. But again, my my sort of power supply just just remains here as a as a single unit. Okay, so once I've actually done all that, that, that then allows me to, to go back to the work order and actually close the work order, it will complete it, which will then confirm all of these stock movements and then allow me to, um, allow me then to actually physically cost the work order and also put it into quality control. So with that, I'd just like to now really close the session and say thank you very much for joining me today. Um, I hope you found it useful. And if you do need to get in touch, please use any of the details on the screen here or you can email me directly. Um, it, it just remains for me to say thank you very much for joining and have a great rest of your day.